Chief Scott Paget, uh, rough afternoon, quiet evening, but yeah. maybe maybe we fire things up again, huh? And the reason we might fire up overnight into the early morning hour, Doug, is uh, early morning hours is because we have this front that's stalled out. It's going to start to move further to the north. So right now, the first alert radar, we're nice and quiet. Even a lot of North Texas, not a whole lot happening. There are some severe storms off towards the north and east. Here's that frontal boundary I'm talking about. Area of low pressure developing just to our south is going to be lifting its way to the north. North overnight and through the early morning hours. You can see more activity has developed further off towards the north. In parts of Oklahoma, uh, there is a supercell storm that developed in the panhandle is continued to push its way down towards the east southeast. Uh, that severe thunderstorm warning continuing for Comanche, Jackson, Kiowa, Tillman County until 1045 uh, for hail up to the size of an inch and maybe three quarters. Uh, that hail cord now just to the south and west of Snyder and southeast of Hadrick it continue to make its way down to the south and east. So the reason I'm bringing that up is it's on that southeastward track, possibly can work its way closer towards the Red River counties after midnight. You notice the severe thunderstorm watch to the northwest, one down towards the southeast. We're not included in that, but I'm not going to rule out the chance of maybe a severe thunderstorm watch issued closer towards maybe the one to two o'clock time frame tomorrow morning. And if that happens, of course, we're going to alert you to that fact. First alert future cast shows that it's initializing relatively well. So there's the storms uh, that I was looking at, possibly near midnight. Midnight 1 to 2, pushing its way over the state line, maybe even to the north sides of the Metroplex. So we'll keep our eyes on the first alert radar through the evening hours. Meteorologist Dennis Brown coming in early, and I'll be here through the night just to make sure that we are keeping you informed and prepared if any severe storms pop up. Uh, 2, 3, 4 o'clock, we might see another complex of storms work its way into parts of North Texas as we go to 3, 4, 5 o'clock time frame tomorrow morning as the front is also lifting its way through. By 6 or 7, it's pushing its way to the east. East, and then I think we have a strong cap in place and that stabilizes the day and we're going to be seeing a quieter day on the way. But rain chances 30, maybe 60 to 70 percent. Some forecast models a bit aggressive with that, but still that slight risk of severe storms remains in effect for all of North Texas overnight tonight and into the early morning hours. Right now it's 77 degrees. The dew points at 76. So our visibility is at two miles. Fog is developing across parts of the Metroplex, so definitely keep that in mind as you're going to be making your plans uh, for the morning commute. Maybe still some fog around. We're at 90 tomorrow, south sides of North Texas, dealing with the heat advisory, possibly feeling like 106, and then all of North Texas going to be in the triple digits, rounding out the weekend into next week. So definitely stay, make plans to stay hydrated and stay cool.